Hey friends, I want to talk to you for a minute about leveling up your measuring cup. In Luke chapter 6, Jesus uh, is talking to his followers and, and those around him. And he says, um, judge not and you won't be judged. Forgive and you'll be forgiven. Give and it'll be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. And then he says this, he says, with the same measure that you use, it'll be measured back to you. The same measure you use, it is measured back to you. And uh, the verse oftentimes is used within context of generosity and giving, right? Like give and it's going to be given back to you. All, all it's true. It's a principle that's applied. Uh, but what we have to be careful of with this verse or what I really want to help us understand with this verse is it is a principle more than it is a promise. It's a principle that when we apply it, it, uh, it we can have confidence and faith in God. It's not something that we use to manipulate God to get what we want, right? Like, I want more money, so I'm going to give more money, and therefore I'm going to get what I want. Like some way of like manipulating God to bend his will to our will and, and just kind of some greedy nature. No, it's in the same way. It's it's That's why Jesus starts talks about judging and forgiving and um, all of these other components to it. It's not just about money. It's about more than money. And uh, he's talking about the measure that we use. And so I want to flip it for just a minute and think of it like this. When it comes to grace in your life, if there's a lack of grace that's being given or being dealt to, you feel like you're missing some grace from other people. Might I suggest taking a minute and giving grace to other people? Check the measuring cups that you're using when it comes to the grace that you're giving others. If if you're in a place right now where you, you're just not feeling very joyful, right? Like, like you are absent or lacking joy, then perhaps look at what you're doing to add joy or give joy away to others. Because with the same measure that you're using to give away joy, that's the same measure that is going to be measured back to you. And so I think if you're looking not so much to get something in return, I think we have to look about what we're giving or the measure and the amount that we're giving away of the joy, of the grace, of the forgiveness, of judgment and criticism even. And I think that if if we want to see more of what God is doing in our lives, then it, it's going to require faith. And faith is really based on this understanding that God is going to be consistent that God is, uh, that we can have confidence in God. And this teaching that Jesus is giving us, given will be given, um, forgive and it will be forgiven you, judge not and you won't be judged. That same measure that it's, it's going to be measured back to you. We can level up our measuring cup when we decide to have confidence in who God is. Um, and we recognize that, listen, I can level up the measurements and the amounts of joy that I'm experiencing in my life simply because I'm deciding to give away joy to somebody else. Because I'm deciding, not, I'm not manipulating God, but rather I'm building my confidence because I know I can count on God. And that's what God is after. And so uh, I, I really want to challenge you to level up your measuring cup. Whatever measurement of joy you've been giving away, whatever measurement of grace or kindness or understanding, mercy, Level up, use a bigger measuring cup because the same measure you use, uh, th that measurement's coming back into you. And so level up the measuring cup. I hope this has helped you have a little bit of faith for today. I'll, I'll see you soon.